Welcome back, everyone, and here's another look at Pueblo from our partners at the Pueblo Chieftain. The snow very light compared to what has been seen in Colorado Springs, El Paso County, and Teller County. Also, the roads are not as slick, just a little wet from the snowfall, but... Oh, don't worry, folks, if you're in Pueblo this afternoon. <laughs> that is sure to change. We will send things over to Storm Tracker 13 meteorologist Jay Polk for more on that. No doubt about that, Brittany. We are going to see lots of snow as it goes through the rest of the afternoon as a band continues to push its way into Pueblo from El Paso County. Los Animas, here's the view from the Bent County Courthouse. Notice that it's not just the springs in Pueblo that are going to be picking up heavy snow. It'll be other areas as well. We are seeing temperature at 29 degrees, so it's a heavy, wet snow. Tough to push around. Winds are to the northeast at 15. Miles per hour, which is the good news because we're seeing some wind. If it were colder and if the snow were lighter, it'd really be blowing and drifting. But that's not really the case this afternoon because of the fact that we are seeing warm temperatures, which equals, of course, heavy wet snow to deal with. Live HD Doppler radar shows that we're going to be pushing a lot of the snow out of the way. In areas north of La Junta, up towards Swink and over towards Ordway and Avondale. We're seeing heavy amounts of snow along Highway 50, also along Highway 96. Pushing it back into El Paso and Teller counties. Some snow stretching from Woodland Park down towards Cripple Creek. We just got a report from the Florissant area. Almost four inches has fallen there for the entire storm so far. We're seeing more snow as well as you head to the northeast of the springs up towards Peyton and Falcon and to the east of the springs over towards Ellicott, south of the town as well as you head down towards Fountain between the springs and Pueblo Interstate 25. The live HD Doppler radar on its full range shows us that this is the main game in town at the moment. It's at least the heaviest game in town as we're seeing a little bit of snow though as we stretch it up between the springs in Denver and over towards the Kansas line as well. Skyscan satellite and radar noticed that little spin that pops up over the extreme southern portion of the state. That's an upper level disturbance which will continue to make its way to the northeast. That's what's helping to pull in some of that warm, moist air from the western Gulf of Mexico, which is further enhancing some of the snow totals that we're expecting in the southeastern plains over the next day or so. Skycast, as we put it into motion through Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, is going to continue to call for that snow to very slowly sag to the south and southwest. It will continue to make its way through the plains, through the southern portion of the state, on that southern I-25 corridor between Walsenburg and the Raton Pass and over towards Springfield on Highway 287 and 385. By the time it's all said and done, we'll see half a foot or more in some isolated pockets in portions like the areas like Los Animas and into Baca County. And by Thursday at noon, it's all gone altogether. Snow Tracker, as we push it forward all the way through Thursday at noon, we're talking about four to seven inches on a fairly widespread basis. Areas off to the west and southwest of Pueblo, maybe even the far southwestern portion of the city itself. But for the most part, it'll be one to four inches in the Steel City. Skycast snow total as we push it into El Paso and Teller County. Here's an area of four to seven inches and of course higher on top of Pikes Peak itself. There'll be some higher totals as well in portions of Teller County, but for the most part, one to four inches is going to be pretty common for you. Maybe some isolated higher spots. Light purple, of course, indicates four to seven inches, mostly in the western and now northern portions of town. Areas like Black Forest have already seen about five or so inches of snow. So we get down to Pueblo to give you an idea of what's going to happen here. Four to seven inches south of town, down towards Colorado City, and over to the south southeast of town as well. Not bad news for the southeastern portions of the state as we are still in a pretty significant drought. Lows tonight, double digits, but barely for most areas. 11 in Canyon City, the Springs, and also at Denver. 14 for Pueblo, 11 at Walsenburg. Lower to middle teens in the southeastern plains with a few extra clouds. Below zero once again in the high country up towards Gunnison and Loveville. Spring 7 8 forecast. High temperatures are going to be sitting in the lower to middle 50s Sunday through Tuesday and Wednesday. So it will be warming up significantly. And that means all that snow that's sitting on the roads right now will go away as we go into our weekend. High temperatures even on Friday and Saturday are sitting in the mid to upper 40s after they're fairly chilly tomorrow. Pueblo 7-day forecast for you. High temperatures get above 60 next Tuesday and almost get there on Wednesday of next week. Monday will be sitting in the mid to upper 50s. Canyon City. Low 30s tomorrow gives way to mid 40s on Friday. Then it's lower to middle 50s from Sunday all the way through next Wednesday. And Teller County will be sitting in the mid 20s tomorrow. Then it's lower to middle 40s beginning Sunday and lasting into the middle portion of next week. Overall, nice upward trend in the temperatures means that snow, except for the shady spots, yeah. for the most part will go away over the next few days. Let's get through the next couple days. Yeah. Thanks, Jay. Welcome.